Hey everyone, welcome all new subscribers, all new people. This is incredible, man. Thank you guys. Freaking, I can't believe it's 21,000 subscribers. Unreal. Just thank you everyone. If you haven't, please join the Facebook fan page and my friend page and follow on Twitter, please, for up to date things. And thank you all. This, this is mind blowing. So now it's Soul Evan. Soul Eater Evans. Let's do this. And I'm going to teach you the easiest way. I always try to teach the easiest way. And I'm using a reference photo for this one mainly because I love the pose and the way it looks. So I kind of want to draw that. And every video I do something different. Sometimes I'll go from my mind, I'll look at just parts. But anyway, I'm just sketching out. Sometimes people, artists, will do this. Before they even put a line, they'll kind of make marks mentally of where lines and things are going to do. And that's all I'm doing here. What I'm kind of going to do with him, I'm using a B pencil. Uh, I'm going to just lightly get the major areas down, which just make a curve line like this. About halfway. Just make a very simple line that curves down. This is where the chin's going to be. Notice how it has a little outward dip. I'm just kind of making the jaw line. Really just getting the feel of the basic shapes. No, nothing fancy yet. Just real, so simple thing. And the majority of this character is the hair. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm making the headband part that we're going to have the marks and things. I'm just roughly getting a size. Notice how it's almost, see this whole thing, it's about half of that size. And you know, the more you draw, you'll get more used to proportions and the way things work. And look how it just curves back. Right now it's real sketchy and what I love about this pose is the hair. I love the hair. And so what you want to do now that you got these major features, put a circle here, big circle. He's got that pendant. Just follow along. See, all I'm doing is sketch out. Nothing, like I said, I'm not worried about finished lines right now. I'm just getting forms and shapes. And for the hair, this is a huge part. Oh, sorry for the noise. Just got to make sure it's on camera. The hair is going to be huge. Uh, you got this whole area that comes up and it arches. It kind of arches towards the midpoint here. And look how big that hair is compared to the head. Like you kind of want to get it big, not maybe not too long. Uh, you always got to look at the head in comparison. Notice how this shape, the length of that, and then the hair is a little, a little longer than that. So I'm just. Mark it where the end is, and it kind of arches all the way down, has this nice curve. Then another hair that arches downward. You're always looking at the curves of lines. That's something you get used to while you're drawing. And you know, don't worry if it's not exact. Like I always say, you know, sometimes you want to put things in your own style, like that. And then, so now that you got that basic shape. There's hair in the front, so for the front you have a, the hair that's coming under the headband piece and it comes in, juts down. Like I say, you just want to make sure you get a basic thing. You got a piece of hair that comes down here. Notice how long these pieces are. See, if you divide the face into half, it's almost half, a little less than half, and you got this hair. Just follow these little lines, and another one over here, jutting out. Look how sharp these points are. That's something to take notice of. That 
actually got that. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about the body. This is mainly, mainly want to focus on the head because it's such kind of complicated. But yeah, this big piece here, draw the rectangle piece that says soul on it. We'll probably do that last, or at least sketch it in now. You don't want to make it too big. It doesn't take up too much of the total headband piece. Let's make this a little smaller. I'm going to make this just a little smaller here. And you'll start to see once we make finished lines. I'm just really doing sketchy stuff. But the symbol for the soul, we'll save that for a little later. The eyes, you kind of want to make a line that's arching downward. Notice how these eyes aren't on a, see, that would be like a complete horizontal line. These lines don't sit on that line. And the reason is because the head's turning a little. So the eyes are going to almost sit on this curve. So one's going to be a little lower. And basic eye shape when it comes to this character, very, almost just rectangular. And the bottom has a little curve. But you know, as you start to draw more and more, you notice these little variances and shapes. And, you know, you get better at drawing different characters. And right now it may not look like much, and that's just because, like I said, it's in the process of developing. But see how that eye just sits there? And very important, the nose. You can make a mark coming down halfway. Nose is like a little upside down U. It's very, very simple and it curves. And it's got shading in it, and we'll shade that later. Uh, and then this eye, notice this eye is a little longer, and see how it kind of starts almost below, if there was a horizontal line there, this mark starts below that. And it looks weird when you're drawing it, but it makes sense once it's in. And it's just another kind of rectangular shape comes in. Like I said, it looks weird, but once you get the mouth in, and the, you really start putting lines in. And don't forget, uh, which I'm going to make this a little shorter this hair that spikes up make it a little less that way you can see he's got this eyebrow that just kind of zigzags like that the eyebrow is very important and then the line the crease where the eyes and now you got these two eye shapes so don't work on it too much you don't want to overwork things for the mouth the mouth sits fairly low in the face and basically, see how low it is? Like there's the nose. And the mouth kind of curves down. And of course those teeth. You can't forget the teeth. But see how I'm just making these little lines. Real simple curve. And it's fairly big. You can exaggerate. You know, you can make it bigger if you want. I'm just showing kind of a sign. And then the chin. That's why his chin juts out. Just go with your instinct of how much things should curve. Like I said, the more you draw characters, the more you get used to different features. I'm going to actually make it bigger. I like his mouth a little bigger. It's those teeth, man. You see these little basic shapes? All I'm doing is basic shapes right now. Oh. And then the way his head is, you'll have his neck coming down. You'll see part of it through the jacket. Let me see how it looks on camera here. I'll raise it up a bit. Oh yeah. So that you got these shapes. His hair, a lot of the hair also comes off the back, so you have a few, you know, that come off the back here like this. So you just want to make sure you get these pieces that are coming down. Same on this side. You'll have just a few. You know, you have one jutting out here. And really when it comes to this character, have fun. Like I said with all my drawings, have fun, man. Don't, don't worry about getting every single hair. Like, you know, a lot of people, I don't really get these comments because you guys are amazing. My, my audience, 
uh, all of you guys are incredible people because you know other sometimes you'll get someone that says oh there's supposed to be so many marks or so many hair pieces and I really do I mean I agree with them of course uh, but the point I'm getting at is you know when you're drawing just to draw and you're just sketching and you're having a good time you know you don't want to where you don't want to be overly analytical about what you capture. I mean, it's very important, of course, because it is a, a fig, detail of the figure. The point is, though, uh, you know, just just do the best you can, and uh, that's basically what I'm gonna. And all I'm doing now is roughing out the jacket. Nothing fancy, but let's finish up with the hair. It's going to be the fun part. Now we got that. I'm going to go back in. Start doing detail. I'm using mechanical. I usually use this. But for the soul symbol, let's start with this because I'm not a huge, I'm not that good when it comes to drawing letters. But notice how there's a little box within this box. Uh, and you know, got the soul words. So try to measure if you want, maybe divide it into four. See how there's a dot there, a dot there. That's where the S is going to sit in, the O, the U, and the L. That way it's spaced evenly, otherwise you could run out of room. And, uh, and just, you know, I'm making an S shape. I'm trying to keep it with the whole, the whole, what is that word called? The font, the font, the way the font looks in the character. Notice this U kind of gets, or the O gets a little, like an egg shape almost. U kind of tilts up. Just take notice of the angles, and of course it's very, very tiny, because I'm not drawing this too, too big. Uh, and the, the reason, in case anyone's wondering, I know, because I usually stress uh, in my tips lessons, you know, draw things big, and it, it helps, because when you draw things big, you gain more confidence. But the reason why I do these drawings smaller, like you can see that's my hand, so it's a small drawing. But the reason is for time mainly, because, you know, the bigger the shapes are, the more time goes into getting everything. That's kind of basic shape here. I'm just doing, I'm going to extend this. And I'm going to clean, of course, after I, after I uh, do the videos, I usually clean things up and render it a lot better so things pop out. But basically there's that. For the pupils, he's got a pupil here and shape kind of just like that real simple and you got a real dark dark pupil there and we'll get to that and of course the eyebrow and on this side pupils are important see how this one's looking that way if I was to put it that way it would look awkward it would look like he's cross-eyed so and sometimes you don't want to put it there well pupils study a lot of artists and see how they draw pupils because that's something I'm still learning about uh, because where you place it, you know, depending on where you place it, it really can either make the character look goofy or, you know, it has an effect. Every little thing you do, what the heck is this gnat doing? There's a gnat flying around my face. Get out of here, gnat. So that's, uh... Might make the mouth bigger. I think I'm going to make this pupil a little smaller, actually. I'm talking about being specific. It's like that. So let's get started. Mechanical pencil time. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I'm going to start with anything. Usually, if I'm doing this or, you know, ink and stuff, I like to start with anything that's on the on the foreground, anything that's overlapping something else. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use actually the .7 pencil, it's a little thicker. And the reason is because you know then I can think to myself better. Uh, okay this line overlaps that so I don't have to worry about what's under it. So things that are closer I'll go over first. You know just make the little creases here because it's got those little marks. And for that, it goes back here. So, all these lines, and we'll see once the lines start getting erased, 
Now this is my favorite part about finishing the drawing, uh, making these lines. And, and always play around with line thickness. Sometimes you want to make some lines a little thicker than others or skinnier. You can see that and another hair coming out this side. You can just see how awesome it's starting to look. You know, and you'll be, like I said, don't, never overwork a sketch. A sketch is there to guide you and uh, you'll be shocked. Once I put the darkness of the pupils in and just shade everything, it, it'll pop out like so much. And let's do this symbol. This symbol I can make a whole lesson on, so I'll try to keep it fairly simple to the point. And all you're going to do is kind of, uh, it's a mouth shape, so I'm going to sketch it with this first. And there's like the upside down E here, so just a little E shape, and an A on the bottom. And the easiest way I can think of doing this is start with the lip curving up. It might look a little squashed, but one curve up, come down. It takes up a fairly good uh, amount of room in the whole pendant thing. Then the bottom one, and don't worry if you don't get it 100%. Let's just do these simple little curved lines, because there's a lot of detail on this character. That's why I just did the face with this one. And then a zigzag, and there's three triangle shapes that go up. So you start the line, one, notice it just goes up, two, and three. And I hope that picks up on the camera, it's very small. I'm going to shade this. Now I'm switching back to a smaller mechanical pencil. And please, if you can in the comments, please let me know if this helps you. Uh, you know, I get a lot of feedback and comments saying they love the videos because I, I draw so much slower than other things. And, th and that's the biggest thing I'm trying to do when I'm teaching. I don't want to, you know, I want to really walk with you through the drawing, you know, where other uh, channels might go a little bit faster for time and things. I want to, that's why my videos are so much longer because, you know, I want to be there for you where if you have a problem on a specific thing, I can help you get it done better. So let's really finish things up here. I've got a little kneaded eraser which is great. I got the for the hair, just go back. I'm going to take a piece of paper here, put your hand on so I don't smudge it. These nice curves you get with the hair. And you can make these lines a little thicker. I want to speed things up, try to go a little quicker now, kind of bring it bring it on the home stretch. See if that lets you get the idea. But like I said, notice how big the hair is. When it comes to proportions, uh, you know, other you can do it a variety of ways when you're starting with the head. Some people will draw a circle and that's great because you get your basic shape of where the hair goes. For me, I just decided to do it like this. Uh, so this chin, notice how it curves down and juts out a little here. I'm just going to clean all these marks up. So come back in when we start getting lines. And look, look at that. Look at that. Holy cow, look at that. You can start to see now when you're cleaning the lines up, you can see those marks underneath just popping out there. And once again, remember it's a sketch. Uh, so you know if you're using a reference photo don't get discouraged because you know what you're looking at is a computerized if it's like a digital image you know you're looking at a digital image which is drawn digitally and you know lines might be crisper and you might have things like that plus remember they're professional people that design these things so don't worry if it doesn't live up to the 
what you look at or if you're not happy just remember to sketch use the best use the properties of the the material the paper and pencil the best you can and really just make it look as good as you can on paper and pencil oh yeah oh, oh, oh yeah baby Yo! so then for the eyebrows eyebrows are pretty dark you can make them dark so let's get these eyes going on I'm gonna switch back to my point five on fire on fire finish this baby up and you notice how there's just a little crease but the pupil is the darkest, so make sure you capture that line there. Pupil is just pure dark, and his eye color is brown. And this little eyebrow coming down. And very important, you get the zigzag shape for the eyebrow. I made it a little too fat of a line, so no big deal, just erase it. And you can even draw the end of the eyebrow in and zigzag. And notice how the, every eye has a bit of a thickness to it too. The lookout just popping out now, it's starting to come alive. See what I'm saying now? See what I'm saying here? Still going to make the mouth a little bigger. Crease in there. You know, the darkness of the mouth. Very important you get the teeth. And this image, sometimes the teeth is all close for this. You just go up, down, up. Then make a little line space. Break it in the middle. And you can continue it doing your own style. But you know, have fun with the teeth. I love drawing teeth like this. And you know that, oh yeah, that kind of looks good. And I'm going to erase these lines again. But look at the subtle curve. See how right there where it curves in and juts out? Very important you notice every little subtle thing. You know, that's, that's uh, very important when you start to draw more. Then even with the eye, see? See those two little creases? Just by, oh my gosh, man! Look at the difference. Just by making that little crease, it completely changes the character. He looks almost sicker, like he's crazy. But that, that's the point with drawing. Every little mark, every little subtle mark changes everything. It's just mind blowing. I love it. This is why I love drawing, man. I'm excited about this video. This has been on my mind for a while. So basically, I don't know. Make this darker too. Now it's just a matter of going back with the lines. And really just finish up all those lines you made and that's about it everyone. You know you can finish up the jacket. It's got like these little squiggle marks. I'm just doing this real quick. Nothing but you know, the jacket, and there's an opening in the jacket here. Just sketch it in. It's got a line coming in. It's got that black line, that like jumpsuit look. I don't worry about that. I'm just trying to get the. Anyway, you can see how the body kind of curves downward. I hope you learned something, everyone. And the basic shape, if you want to design, let me check this on camera here. The basic shape, if you want to draw it in for the jacket, it's almost like a little angle here comes down, and then droplets. Maybe not that big, but kind of just curves down. It looks. Looks like that for the shape. That'll be on the jacket there. And right here, these two little pieces that connect. Oh man, this is awesome! <laughs> this is awesome! I never drew a Soul Eater character! I'm so happy with that came out! And then another one here. 
and that'll be the black parts. Then just make lines for the the arms. But basically, that's it. And thanks everyone for watching again. A lot more videos are coming on the way. I just can't stop. Once I start, I can't stop doing it. Then a line that comes down. So play around with that. I think I got everything. Thanks everyone!